22 minutes past seven, more than a fifth of children referred to mental health services in England have been refused treatment, according to research by the NSPCC. The charity says a time bomb of serious conditions has been created by children not getting appropriate care and that some of those turned away are victims of abuse. Emily Cherry from the NSPCC joins us now. Um, it, very stark if you are one of these children. What do you think? What's been going on, do you think? Absolutely. Well, as you said in your introduction there, what we're saying is that absolutely is a time bomb for children. So we've seen through the research that we've just done that children who are being referred for the most serious abuse um, problems and issues are then not getting that therapeutic specialist support from mental health services and health services. And this is really worrying. I mean, you can imagine it, the confidence to come forwards and the bravery of children to talk about the abuse they're experiencing and then not to get that timely support to help them recover and rebuild their childhood. It's something we're really concerned about and typically how much of that support would a child need and what exactly are you talking about so so therapies certainly that are really about helping children learn the positive coping strategies to cope with those feelings and those thoughts and emotions and not turn to really difficult things like suicide and self-harm and um, issues that are really going to not help them recover and rebuild their childhood so we would really want specialist services that can help children overcome that trauma why isn't it happening then? So we've heard from NHS England, and I think you've covered it in, uh, this morning in your introduction, that uh, they're saying that the additional money has been put um, into health services. But what we've seen is a massive growth in the number of children coming forward to talk about abuse um, and to talk about abuse and, and uh, go forward to the police and other services. But what hasn't kept pace with that is the number of places for children to then have that specialist help afterwards. So this is why you have a time bomb. So you have a larger number of people coming forward, but then not the right places for them to help deal with that abuse. And if they do get the chance to go and speak to somebody, have that, the kind of services you're talking about, what difference can it make to them? So in, in our job at NSPCC, we daily see children um, in our specialist service centres um, and giving them that support. And I think I was reflecting this morning before I came on about some of the cases that I've seen that we've dealt with. So you've got children who, if they do get the timely support, will then go on to recover and go on to be able to lead um, you know, lives. So I was thinking particularly of some cases where we've got children um, who are now wanting to be police. They're wanting to be the social workers of the future. So they will go through and actually be able to recover from that abuse. And help other people. And, and help other people. Yeah. I mean, if more than a billion pounds has been pledged for mental health in the, in the budget this year, surely it can't be about resources, can it? I think we need to look at how those resources are being used. So are they being used in the most effective way to support children? But there is a big growth um, in the number of children coming forward, and that's why services need to keep up. All right. Emily, thanks very much. Emily Thank Cherry from the NSPCC. I